Hello. Yes. Mi naitwa William Ruto. Naomba kuongea na Alice Nato. Oh, Alice Nato ni hapa. Eh eh, habari Alice? Mzuri sana. Uko salama? Niko salama. Eh eh, habari ya nyumbani? Nyumbani tuko wazima. Eh, uko pendi uko sehemu gani? Bungoma? Niko Bungoma. Eh. Welcome again ladies and gentlemen. William Ruto is expected to give a nation address. As William Ruto is so terrified, and in fact, when you look at even online, William Ruto has taken his own duty, calling Kenyans all over the country. Because the reason behind it is members of parliament, both Azimio and UDA, or rather Kenya Kwanzaa MPs, they are not willing to tell William Ruto whatever is happening on the ground. When a president is going to deliver a, a state of the nation address, he has always individuals in his office, let me call them maybe intelligence, who always gathers information to tell him that this is whatever is happening in Bungoma, this is whatever is happening in Kakamega, and all 47 counties, and this is whatever we've done, and we have the records, and as the speech is going to be written, already the president understands everything. But now, for the first time, I'm seeing William Ruto. Ako busy anakolu watu uku meru, anakolu uku Bungoma, amekolu Kakamega, anakolu uku wajia, kila mahali. The reason behind it is, these MPs are boycotting this uh, so-called the state of nation address. And even when look at even whatever Edwin Sefona is saying, Edwin Sefona has come out to deliver this news. The standing orders require that the head of state in an address to parliament be heard in silence. Two problems. Number one. Ruto cannot be trusted to paint the true picture of the state of nation, which, as you know, is dire. Number two, I cannot sit quietly listening to lies. For these reasons, and out of respect for the institution of parliament, I shall not attend the state of the nation address. That is whatever Edwin Sifuna is saying. Now, this is not going to be about Edwin Sefun alone. This video, I've recorded it earlier so that you can understand the picture that, it, that is going to be in the National Assembly. Because this is going to be a joint state of the nation address. Both the Senate and National Assembly. And as we speak, the possibility are the Azimio, is, uh, the Azimio members of parliament are going to boycott. The possibility are the Azimio members of parliament are going to boycott. Number two, as you speak, William Ruth is busy calling this MP of his side. They must attend that state of the nation address. And even we were told that William Ruto was buying time. And that is why he never came out giving the state of nation address earlier because some members of parliament were not there. Some of them were in vacation. Some of them were out, you know, of the country. And he waited until all of them are in the country. But again, we are being told that William Ruto is facing a rejection. And the rejections are... These members of parliament allied to him in Kenya Kwanzaa. Some of them are saying they're not going to attend. People like Adoni Wamuchomba, the possibility, she is 50-50. And several others in the uh, National Assembly. But again, as this is something that people are waiting, they are seriously waiting whatever William Ruto is going to tell people. Because I've seen 
the news that is being circulated by the Kenya Kwanza bloggers, they are claiming that William Ruto has delivered when it comes to Hustler Fund. William Ruto has delivered when it comes to house pro housing project. Then, other achievement of William Ruto's government, we are waiting to see from William Ruto. Because they are telling us William Ruto is having good things to tell Kenyans in the National Assembly. But again, as something that we are waiting today to happen, there is a kind of something we call rebellion. And this rebellion is going to hate William Ruto hardly in both the National Assembly and Senate Assembly. And my reasons are, these members of parliament are the face of the floor of the house. And if today you're going to show a kind of, um, let me say, when these members of parliament met him at State House, they came out giving their idea why they are losing their popularity, and again, why William Ruto must, uh, must reduce the high, uh, high cost of living and the prices of fuel. You've seen a video I've analyzed about Didmas Barasa coming out to deliver bad news to William Samuel Ruto. At the same time, he's in the government. It means there's a kind of fallout in between Kenya Kwanza government. There's a very sharp crack in the Kenya Kwanza government. So as Azimio are going to boycott, possibility are the Azimio are boycotting. Because now already the senator of Nairobi has declared he's not going to attend. At the same time, these members of parliament of UD, they are so embarrassed just to sit down and listen to their leader again lying again and again. Which according to them, it seems like they are fearing the wrath and the hostility of the people. And that is why they told William Ruto the ground is hostile. So we ukiangalia ta William Ruto akipiga simu akijulia watu hali before I end I address the nation. Yes? I don't think if William Ruto is sure towards whatever these members of parliament are telling him. Because these members, I told you the other time, they are on, on the ground day in, day out. During the weekends, middle of the week, they are on the ground. They understand those people who elected them. So if they are telling William Ruto, the ground is hostile, these people are lamenting, they are angered, and they are hostile. William Ruto is still not believing. So he has reached an extent of him even taking that chance to call all these kind of people he has called them. But again, these are people whom he knew already. So ata ukisikia anaulize siju unatoka wapi, numbers imepatikana, wamepeanwa, na kile ambacho inatakana waseme, already they understand very well. And that is the kind of trajectory that William Ruto is going to. But I believe William Ruto is not safe. The ground is hostile, be it members of parliament or common manaji, both as Mio and uh, Kenya Kwanza government. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video.